Now then, it's time for uh, today's perspective guest on the programme, and it is uh, an international cinematic event being held here in Paris this week with world-renowned patrons such as Ken Loach, Julie Christie, Mark Rylance, and even the French footballer turned actor Eric Cantona supporting it as patrons. This week here in Paris, Palestinian filmmakers under the spotlight in the Festival Cine Palestine, aiming to bring their exceptional films that often would receive little exposure here in France to light. And I'm delighted to have uh, with me here on set one such filmmaker, Kamel Afjafari. Thanks very much for coming in and Thank talking you to so us. Much. Um, first of all, let's give people a bit of an idea about what kind of films we're talking about here. And we're going to talk about uh, and show a little clip of your film, Recollection. Just tell us, first of all, what the film is about and what you were hoping to achieve with it. So this film um, is about, in fact, a, a person who has the ability to go back uh, to all places which don't exist anymore in, in the city of Jaffa. Mm -hmm. And the film was made entirely um, based on um, fiction film material, Israeli fiction film material. I removed all the, the actors from the foreground and I made a new film with the backgrounds, basically depicting um, uh, the journey of this person going back to all these places which only existed in cinema. Ironically, these Israeli fiction films uh, that were made in the 60s, 70s and 80s were the, the only documentation left of the city. Um, so I had to go back to this, um, uh, to this material and uh, basically make a new film out of it. And why did you want to do that? Um, because I think that uh, we want to go back to be in the places that don't exist anymore and um, um, part of us as Palestinians, we want to um, keep uh, the cities and cinema was the only way to do it in fact now okay. because they, physically they don't exist anymore. Well, let's have a, a little bit of a watch of the film. This is uh, Kamal's film, Recollection. It is me. Yara. Are you son? Danny. What's that mean? Where? 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 Yeah, you can really see how that works, uh, taking the actors out of it, can't you? Well, well the idea was um, um, about what I found in the background. Mm -hmm. I mean, basically, the actors, they stood in my way. I had yeah. to uh, remove them, so sure, to sure. say. Um, and one other film you've made is uh, called The Roof, isn't it? Yes. What's that about? Uh, this was the first film I've made in, in Palestine. In fact, after having studied at the Academy of Media Arts in Cologne, I went, I went back uh, to uh, my hometown and it's a film uh, about the meaning of going back to the first place. Um, and it becomes a film about um, the situation in the country um, at that time. This was shot in 2004. And unfortunately, when you see the film today, in fact, you uh, don't see much change. Uh, the same conditions we had before are, are today. Um, but the, f the film is, um, is a kind of poetic uh, journey into the country, into two, these two places, into the life of my family, the daily life of, of my family. And the idea is basically to create um, um, a cinematic poetry rather than um, a normal documentary. Um, I mean, you talk about the life of your family. I mean, it's, it, obviously, as you said, you're, you're a Palestinian, but you actually grew up in, in Israel, didn't you, in central Israel. Just tell us a bit what that was like growing up uh, in Israel as a Palestinian. Well, you know, I, I, um, since I've... Um, um, left, um, you know, when you, when you leave your own country, you know, people ask, how is it, you know, to live outside of uh, your country? And the, the answer that I actually found myself um, answering was that uh, there wasn't really a change in my situation because I always felt as an immigrant mm -hmm. in my own country. And that's the feeling that Palestinians in Saudi Arabia uh, uh, have and carry with them, being uh, from there and not from there at the same time. And it's a very schizophrenic situation because mm. you know it's your country, but it's not anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah. And are your films always based on your own experiences? Uh, more or less. <laughs> um, at least the, the three films that I've made so far, um, 
I, I think um, cinema um, has to be personal, has to come from the inside of the creator, of the director. And it, it was a period in my life. I guess today I would do something else. And how difficult was it as a Palestinian in that environment to be able to, to do what you've done and, and for other people as well, other Palestinians, to, to thrive and do well? Well, um, as all directors, you have, you know, the difficulties of finding money, finding resources for the film. Uh, but in the case of uh, Palestinian filmmakers, since we don't have a, a state, uh, we are under occupation and um, you don't have really um, uh, film bodies to support you. So you, rely, you end up relying uh, almost entirely on European funding. So I was ba I'm based in Germany, so you know, I, have access, I have access to German funds. Or I, the, um, my films were co-financed by France as well. Um, so you, you are in fact um, in a difficult situation, financially speaking, because you have to rely entirely on, on European money. Um, and shooting there, film, making the films, for me, it, was, it wasn't that difficult because I work um, really very locally uh, and inside you know, um, um, the homes of my family or, or friends. But um, if you are a Palestinian from the West Bank or Gaza, it's really quite dangerous to, shoot, to film. And presumably that's why, as well, festivals like the one happening in Paris here this week are so important. It's very important because uh, it is also a, a place for us to meet. Um, I mean, for the Palestinian filmmakers and, mm -hmm. and uh, people working in cinema and culture to meet uh, people coming from uh, different places, whether in Palestine or outside Palestine. And Cine Palestine becomes um, um, a platform where we, c we could interact, mm -hmm. something that we cannot do in Palestine itself. So, um, and as well to have an exposure and uh, interaction with, with the French public, which is very, very important. France is a, is a cinema country. Mm. And most Palestinian films, uh, the, the successful Palestinian films, they, they were co-produced by France. OK. Well, if you want to uh, get involved in that and find out more about it, um, you'll find it at uh, Festival Cine Palestine. Have a look online, and I'm sure you'll uh, find films there that you can uh, uh, go and see, tempt you to go and see. Kamal, thanks very much for coming Thank in you and so talking much. to us. Uh, Kamal Al-Jafari, uh, a Palestinian filmmaker with us on the programme. Let's have a look at the main headline uh, on the programme today. The main parties who've been battling for control of post-Gaddafi Libya coming together here in Paris today. The country divided with rival governments in the east and the west pushing there for power.